So I got the pan dropped. It's all here. Now this was extremely difficult to get off, but trick is do not pry on one side. You want to try to pry on evenly. Now there are some tabs here to go ahead and on this side. Okay, and this is the front it sits like this. Uh, one of the other things I did, there is a threaded hole on this corner. I don't want to flip it upside down. I'll flip it once I have it cleaned out that I used to push on the block. It's probably made for that, that reason, but I think it was stuck here on these dowels and again also on the face of the trans, um, the bell housing of the trans, okay? Uh, that was a couple of the interesting factors there that made it a little bit difficult to pull. Uh, let me see if I can find... Oh, here it is. Is it a 10? No, it's a 12. Is it the 12 I need? Yes, it's the 12 I need because that's the one I was using on here. I'm going to pull this back off here. And you can see it's coming out. So let me get this cleaned up and I'll get a, a closer look. And then I also have the uh, face already pulled off, which I'll get a better view once we have all that cleaned off. Uh, so it's just a, a matter of trying to get this off. I, I, uh, one of the things, I had to drop this pan first before pulling that because of the pickup tube that goes in here, okay? And again, I will show you guys that when we get everything cleaned up. Okay, here we see the pump plate. Okay, I have the bolts in place because they do have different lengths and I didn't want to take it out quite yet. Uh, we just put it in a bird bath and removed the seal from the front. Uh, this is where the idler pulley goes. And that's that for there. But I will take this off. I want to examine it. I don't believe this has a gasket that goes around in there. I'm pretty sure it's just a plate that goes there. Fine. And not a big deal. Because um, now it's all gritty. And um, what we'll do is pre-lube this area so that, you know, this is 100% clean. Okay, there's a whole bunch of sludge on the outside. But I, I just wanted to be aware of the bolts on here. Uh, I just get a nice light clean. I can mark them and then have him wash it. Uh, this, you know, this is why I had to take off the pan first before being able to slide this out because this was hitting the edge of that pan, okay? That's why I always try to use your head, not force, <laughs> okay? Okay, so we have this entire area cleaned up. Okay, I scraped it off. And then I used some brake clean to go ahead and make sure that the surface is all completely dry. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Uh, let me tilt this up a little bit. Uh, all right, so hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, even more the tensioner rides, clean that. I just try to stay away from here because I didn't want to touch that seal. And you see all that, right? Okay, let's go underneath. And you see that. And that's all beautiful, cleaned up, ready to go. We're going to start putting things together. Here's the pump, almost all ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to prime it a little bit with oil so that there's no dry start and we're good to go there on this side uh, i am electing to use a little bit of ultra black uh, permatex which is you know the rtv stuff oil just enough to hold the gasket onto that just a little bit okay um just letting you guys know and this is the gasket set that we're going to use i still gotta put the seal in but i'm going to do that right after I put the oil in. Just a bit. Prime it. And then boom. Put it all together.
okay so we have the oil pump put back on uh, I put a little bit of RTV again on the uh, pump area applied the gasket and then we put it on the vehicle uh, these bolts are all most of them are different sizes that's one size these are a different size and the others are another size so be wary of that and then it's torqued to 17 foot-pounds on this particular thing um, you can go anywhere from 14 and a half to almost 20 foot-pounds but I decided to go with something in the middle like 17 and that's that now next I'm gonna put the water pump on and have that all good to go Okay, here's the water pump. I put a very, very, very thin coat of the RTV, black RTV, on the one side just to hold this in place. I had to take this off because there was a bracket in my way over here, which I, I wasn't aware that it actually sits on top of the water pump, and I was having trouble getting everything. There's two dowels, okay, here, and I was having trouble getting everything line, uh, lined up. So. Right now, I'm just using the RTV as a holder for the gasket, and that is it. Um, technically, you really don't need any gasket maker when installing these paper gaskets, okay? So the only reason is because I'm, I'm finagling, and it's helping me hold the gasket in place, okay? Voy a poner la luz. Y... Por debajo. Espérate. Boom. Ahora sí. Esto. Así. Um. Y ahora eh, no me deja entrar en la, en la pieza. Ah, ya. Yeah. Boom. Ok. La tuerca pequeña va aquí en la esquina y arriba. Y tengo otras dos. Las largas van por debajo. Um, este lado de aquí. Para apretar la, los tornillos de esas es de entre 15 pies libra a 20 pies libra y yo decidí apretarlas a 17 pies libra. Um, ¿Dónde están? Aquí. Entonces. So now I have uh, the water pump in there. We have to tighten it up to 15 to 20 foot-pounds, um, but I elected to tighten them at 17 foot-pounds, someplace in the middle, uh, which converts over to 204 inch-pounds. And we'll go ahead and tighten this up and then continue assembling. So I now have those three bolts torqued to specification, 17 foot-pounds, and I'm going to go ahead and put this plate back on. Uh, it goes like this, okay? This sits and it goes over the little tab here of the water pump and this cutout over that little notch there in the, in the head. So we'll put these three bolts on and that's that. 
so now I'm putting this bracket on, which also acts as a hold down for the water pump. I want to do that before the water pump and everything cures on the gasket maker, even though it's only the one side. Um, and then I have these two bolts here, those two long bolts there. And again, they'll be torqued to 17 foot pounds. And we'll do that and we'll go ahead and move on to the belt. We'll put on the idler pulley at the bottom, which goes onto that uh, oil pump plate, and lightly put on the tensioner here at the top, and we'll start getting that belt situated. Oh, actually, we'll have to put the motor mount plate that goes on here first, and then we'll put the belt on. Yeah, I see. Okay. So, we got the engine mount put back on, uh, to sort of torque the spat. Again, we have this bracket back. This is where the alternator goes. Um, but you can see how it holds down the water pump in place as well. Next thing, we're gonna put on the idler pulley down the bottom, which is torqued to 32 to 40 foot-pounds. And then also this guy up here, which we're not gonna torque yet because we gotta put the belt on. That's that. So we have the time about on. Uh, on this particular guy, we gotta put it on down from the crankshaft over to idler, and then make our way slowly over, and then install the tensioner pulley. And then we can go ahead and, and tighten it up to specification, which is about 32 to 40 foot-pounds. I elected to go 36. So that's tight. I've already rotated this twice, and we're good to go here. So one of the things I want to do, uh, I want to get this cover on before I leave for the night, uh, at least to help protect the belt, the cover, and then we'll put that washer on that uh, you saw prior. So we'll go ahead and take care of that, get that installed, and continue on from there.